Hey guys, what is going on? It is Obadiah and today we are back on the volcano playing some Ark. So today I thought we'd do something we just haven't done yet. So they released a lot of new creatures, a lot of new dinos and whatnot in the last, the last big patch. I think there was four new ones. There was that weird snail thing, the Achatina something. There was the uh, Pachyrinosaurus thing, the Mossachops. The Megalosaurus or something. I don't know all the names, but you know what they are because you probably already looked it up and have already done this. But we're going to go ahead and tame them. The weird thing about this group of guys who were released is that they all tame in weird ways. The snail thing takes sweet veggie cakes, which we have never made. Luckily, we already do have a garden run in, so we're going to go ahead and grab all the ingredients for that and make some sweet vegetable cakes. And uh, I think one of them takes bug repellent. Open. That was automatic. One takes bug repellent, one takes uh, something else. Uh, and then the moss chops is like cycles between like sap and leech blood and all this weird stuff. So they all tame in kind of an odd way. I don't know how many we're gonna get through today, but we are going to try to do as much as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the vegetables here. We're gonna get the stimulants or the stim berries to make stimulants. We are going to grab everything we need. I'm gonna go ahead and gather up stuff and make it and I'll bring y'all back. All right, so we've gathered up most of the stuff we need. So for the, one of them we need stimulants, which takes spark powder and stim berries. We already got spark powder in there. We'll throw in some stim berries. We'll throw in a gasoline, turn it on, and we'll start making like, I don't know, 100 or 200 of those. Uh, bug repellent takes pelt, narcotic, citronol, and rock carrot. Uh, the pelt I've got right here, and then citronol and rock carrot, and we'll make, I don't know, 31 of those apparently. Uh, and then let's see what else to make sweet veggie cakes. So let's take a look. I believe we throw those in the industrial cooker. Uh, why can't we access it? We have to pick it up and replace. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and pick this sucker up. And let's throw it back down. I want to make sure it snaps to that pipe so it continues to be irrigated. Come on, turn the right way. Is it there? Irrigated, awesome. There we go, access inventory. So this will take a rock carrot, a citronol, a long grass, a sava root, and a uh, sap. And that might be it. Let's see, switch to electricity. If not, I might have to look it up because I don't remember what else it might take. But I feel like there is another ingredient. Fiber, that's what it needs. Okay, let's check. Do we have any in here? Where is all our fiber? Maybe in our smithy. Yes, awesome. All right, so let's throw that in there and hopefully that's it. It'll start making them for us. I don't know how long it takes. Um, can't be more than 15 to 30 seconds, I would guess. Let's let that sit there and let's go ahead and grab our bug repellent from the chemistry bench and our stimulants. Uh, unless the stimulants are needed to make the veggie cakes, which is possible. So we'll throw that in there too, because I don't remember why I was making them. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep getting stuff crafted up. Let's grab our bug repellents and check this one more time. Yes, okay, there we go. So sweet veggie cakes are being made. So I'm gonna get everything crafted up, then we're gonna find something good to tame. All right, guys, we have found ourselves a patchy rhinosaurus, and I don't actually know what they're really used for. Oh, a little bit of framiness while the base loads in. Um, I looked around to try to find a really good level one. This is the best I could find, a level 276, which isn't too bad. Now, they tame using bug repellent, which is the weirdest thing. Um, but hopefully these are should take them out pretty quick, and we should be able to keep them down easily while we go look for the other things we want to tame up. And, oh, yep, just one dart did it. Awesome. And, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and throw... Why are we still in battle? He's knocked out. And where, where do we put all the bug repellent? Oh, there it is. Okay, throw 150 bug repellent on him. We're we'll going to let this sucker tame up. And I did see there was a moss chops right outside the base. So let's see if we can just go ahead and grab that right now. Okay, where was that sucker? Right there. Now we'll go ahead and knock this guy out too. Now, from what I understand, these moss chops can be both passive tamed or knocked out. But we are 100% going to knock them out because... There's nothing worse than a passive tame. That's just the most awful thing. Ugh. All right, so he's asleep. Uh -huh, level 12, so not the most impressive level. I'm gonna go ahead and narc these guys. Ooh, this guy's dropping fast. Okay, let me throw some narcs on him real quick. So, the way the moss chops work 
is they'll eat any variety of food, I believe. But one of those is leech blood, organic polymer, and sap are like the three that give them the most bonus levels post tame. So, oh man, his topor is dropping really fast too. All right, so we're gonna have to watch the topor level on these guys and wait till they tame up, and then I will bring you guys back. Okay, since the moss chops that we are taming is actually a super low level, uh, the other foods they take are rare flour, rare mushroom, raw prime meat, and raw prime fish meat. We don't have any of the fish meat, but the other stuff we do have, so we're just gonna throw it on there so we can get this guy tamed up uh, as quick as we can. It still says put food in inventory to tame. He must want the fish, because I think we have everything else that they eat. I'll check and throw anything else on that we need, but it should be covered at this point. All right, so it looks like the patchy rhinoceros is done. We're gonna have to get a saddle for it and uh, kind of see what the heck this guy does. Uh, let's go ahead and leave him right here though. So we're having a problem with the moss chops. It says, it said taming. Now it's saying put inventory or put food in inventory to tame. And I don't know why it's not eating any of the stuff we put in there. I think we have all the options except for the raw prime fish meat. I may jump into the ocean real quick and see what we can find, but um, besides that, I might have to look it up, because I have no idea why the sucker is not taming. See, now it says taming again. So I don't know what the deal is. So we're just going to wait it out and hope something changes. All right, guys, we're letting this guy wake up, because apparently uh, knocking out and taming it doesn't work. The good news is that he is already pretty hungry, so it should be pretty fast. And it looks like right now he wants sap. And that's all it took, and we should have done that from the beginning, because that's way easier. Um, so I don't really know how these guys work either, but let's go ahead and throw him on uh, passive. So I believe you can change them view harvesting levels so we can make them harvest things like sap and all sorts of stuff. I'm not really sure how to make that happen, but we will uh, play with it later. So I want to go get our skills of snail first. So we're gonna let this guy sit here and how do we get out of this menu now? Cancel. Get out! Okay. So, we're gonna let these guys sit. I'll try to make a saddle for what needs saddle. Let's go ahead and find ourselves an awesome snail. Alright guys, so we went to a cave underneath the red obelisk and found ourselves an Achantina, or whatever they're called, a snail. Um, now, normally you're not able to ta tame things that are in caves because their levels are so much higher. Like, check this out, it's a level 600, which is excessively high, but for some reason you can still tame the snails. So, oh, didn't even register. That's good. Um, so, I figure I might as well get a remarkably high level one. And they take the sweet veggie cakes. We've made some. I don't know how many it'll take. So, we'll kind of judge and make more as needed. And we're just kind of let this sucker tame up. And I'll bring you guys back because it's about to be done. All right, guys. So, while that snail tames up, I figure we can go ahead and play a little bit with Apache Rhinoceros. Um, so, from what I understand... There's two cool things about them. One, there's a passenger seat. So you can board passenger seat and then you can shoot from here, which is awesome. So for people early in the game, if you get one of these before you get like a flyer or Quetzal or something, it could be really good to, uh, can you use your gun from the front too? Oh, sure can. Uh, it could be a good way to tame things. Someone can be driving, someone can be shooting. The only downside to that is I don't think you can look Oops, don't want to disable public seating. You don't want to look, you're not able to look all the way around behind you, which is kind of a bummer. I wish they would change that. Uh, but also these guys have a cool slow ability. So, uh, let's see, where's something that'll attack me? Uh, let's go check out this trike up here and kind of see what you can do. Also, this guy's really slow. Can we boost some speed? There we go. All right, so, that's not much better. So I think if we attack this guy and he starts to chase us, Let's see. We got, oh, run it away. And we can right click and it stops him. Oh, or we are lagging. Let's try it again. Right click. Why is it not working? Oh, there's a cooldown. And see in the top right? There's a cooldown. It says we're hidden, but we are not hidden. Guys, wait for that to go down and we're going to go ahead and try it again. So we're running, we're running, we're running. Here we go. And. Right click! Okay, it's not letting us do it again. I'm not sure why. There it goes. And now we are hidden for 20 seconds again, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Maybe it's stopping the guy a little bit? 
I don't know, it's really hard to tell what's going on, but that's what it's supposed to do, I think, is to stop or slow down the thing that we are, uh, that's attacking us. But nonetheless, that's what it's supposed to do. Honestly, we'll probably never use it because we have absolutely no purpose for that, but it's kind of a cool thing to have. They look pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna park this guy, check on our snail, and I'll go see what we can do with the moss chops. Okay, so the way the moss chops works, it seems is that every time you level him, which we are gonna level probably exclusively in weight, we can also level up a harvesting level. We currently have eight available, and so we can put them in different, uh, different things that they can harvest. The thing is, I don't see this being very useful to us, as there's nothing around that they would harvest. We can do sap, raw prime, raw prime fish, rare flower, rare mushroom, leech blood, and organic polymer. So I'm not really sure what we should level up in, but I think I might do organic polymer for now, and just because, why the heck not? And uh, try to figure out a good use for that later. And then to make it work, you have to throw them on wander. Uh, now there's nothing here that he can harvest right now, but uh, we just will just let him kind of chill on our base and gain levels till we figure out what the heck to do with this guy. All right, guys, so our snail is done and it tamed out at level 899, uh, which is kind of a bummer because if it could have been one level higher, it would have been 900, which is a way cooler number. But yeah, what can we do? There's still a couple veggie cakes in there. We'll probably make some more to throw in the trough because I believe that even after tame, that's all that they eat. But these guys are supposed to make uh, something similar to cementing paste. I don't know the rate they make it at. Um, do you have any yet? No, well, just, no, not yet. <laughs> Uh, I don't know the rate, and, but we can pick these guys up. Well, that's cool, so we can put it, move them somewhere. Uh, for now, let's just kind of throw them right here. Stay. Uh, maybe they have to be on wander? Let's try it. Enable wandering. And let's go. Move. <laughs> okay, he doesn't seem to want to wander very much. And we got nothing yet. But nonetheless, we'll let him sit, and we will... Uh, Kind of check out what he does and what we can get from it, and that'll be a good deal. Uh, but for today, guys, I do think that is going to be it. Uh, we did get ourselves the new patch rhinoceros, which is awesome. We got ourselves some moss chops. Oh, there it goes. Oh, there's one right there. Achatina paste. Sweet. I thought they put up in their inventory. Oh, they do as well. So cool. We'll let him go ahead and uh, make that, and it's a terrible way to get it, and not a very good resource at all because we can mine it and create it so much faster. But for today, guys, that is going to be it. If you did enjoy the video or if you learned something, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button. And of course, if you haven't done so yet, feel free to subscribe. You can also hit me up on all your social medias, your Twitter, your Instagram, your Facebook, even your Google Plus, even though nobody ever uses it. And you can check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash Obadiah X. Uh, I really do appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me today. And until next time, I'll see you later.